Well, Kristen Oaks now joins us with this week's installment of the Ag Minute. And Kristen, I know we've had this discussion around here before. Uh, this one deals with sustainable agriculture. And you know, a lot of folks might think, particularly from production agriculture standpoint, that all farming is sustainable. But you're going to give us a little more of an in-depth explanation. Well, Mike, it's about as in-depth as you can get in 60 seconds. But you are right. Sustainable agriculture has been around since the beginning of farming. But it wasn't until 1990 that the U.S. government attempted to define sustainable agriculture. And it did so the way governments usually do things, by instituting a law. It was through the Food, Agriculture, Trade and Conservation Act that Congress attempted to define sustainable agriculture. But native people the world over didn't need a law to tell them that if they didn't keep their resources in balance, those resources wouldn't be around for very long. Ancient farmers knew the soil had to remain fertile, so they rotated their crops. They knew they had to store some of their seed for next year's crop, something farmers today call never eating the seed corn, no matter how hungry they got. In short, sustaining agriculture production meant sustaining their way of life. Today, American farmers work hard to continue this tradition. They use conservation practices like no-till, which reduces topsoil erosion, and they limit chemical use. Advances in seed technology now allow some plants to ward off insects and diseases on their own. For livestock producers, it means vaccinating their animals to keep them healthy. And for foresters, it means replanting what they cut down. Now, while all this may sound like common sense for most production farmers, some have called into question whether farmers aren't doing enough. The fact is, farmers must balance environmental concerns with those of the profit margin. Because if the farmer can't stay in business, well, all those practices would go right out the window. And the fewer American farmers, the more dependent we become on other countries to feed us. Now, moving on to some Twilight trivia. Last week's question was obviously pretty easy for you guys at home. Which city is home to the world's only corn pack? And everyone correctly answered this. It is C, Mitchell, South Dakota. For this week's trivia, I'll try a little harder to stump you guys. Which vegetable did ancient Egyptians place on their hand when they were taking an oath? Was it A, corn, B, radish, or C, onions? Log on to our website, twilatv.org, submit your answer, and we'll send you the usual Twila prize pack with some new goodies. Don't go anywhere. We'll have a lot more to come on This Week in Louisiana Agriculture. Football tailgating season is upon us, so how much will that burger cost for your grill? Find out on the bottom line up next. <laughs> 